Of course, this is senior day here at Soika Pavilion and four incredibly successful both on the court as well as off the court seniors will be recognized prior to the start of today's contest between the Black Knights and the Bison. But now Nate Jones is going to be introduced. Of course, unfortunately, Nathan's dad unable to attend today's ceremony because he is the head coach at Radford. Next one is going to be from Ontario, Canada. As Kimmel McKenzie going to come out there and spoke with him in an In the Herd feature earlier this week. And I asked if he was going to be emotional, and he said, yeah, probably. <laughs> Matt O'Reilly being introduced. Matt's going to have his jersey on. He's unable to play because of an upper body injury. Of course, his father played basketball at Princeton. And Matt has been battling a lot of injuries here. His career, particularly his senior season. Now the final senior to be recognized is Nate Sestina. Of course, he's just up the road two and a half hours or so in Emporium, Pennsylvania. You can see he's trying to keep his eyes from tearing up. And he is coming out with his family right now. Of course, everybody knows about his brothers who have served in the Marines. Last game against Lafayette, home game. It was a special moment for him and for his family as he was Hero Appreciation Day. His grandparents and parents are here. And one of his brothers. And there is a very special occasion going to be coming up as well. <laughs> Nate doesn't know about this, but his brother Andrew is coming out Serving in the Marines. <laughs> the two Marine brothers hug, and now Nate Sestina gets to see his closest brother, Andrew. And you can see his dad wiping a tear from his eye. Very, very special moment here. And Nate is just beside himself. He didn't expect to see his brother, who is in the Marines. I'm sure these Army West Point young men understand it. Nate is in tears. God bless all these young men, and especially those who serve our country for the Army West Point young men who soon will. And of course, for the two Marine brothers, Nate Sestina. Get caught in the lane, throw it up with the right hand. It rolls off the rim, no good, but great job by Paul Newman. He'll tip it back out to Bucktail Sotos. He'll bounce it left baseline to Moore. He'll get double teamed. It'll spin to his left with a move that I don't think I've ever seen by Bruce. He'll kiss it off the glass. So it's the Black Knights leading it by six here. Five minutes gone in the half. Toomer penetrates right side. Will spin back out and give it up top for a moving three by Meeks. Bingo! John Meeks hits for his 11-3 this year. Down low, here is a ball. Uh, it's blocked by Newman. It's loose, and Kane Edwards is going to throw it out of bounds, they'll say, off of Toomer. Deficit. Here's an inbound steal by Toomer. He'll tip it in the backcourt. He'll go up for a layup, and it's up and good. Left side to Soto, shot clock under 10. Here's a pass for a three by Meeks. Bingo! Soto's passes, Meeks finishes. Here's Meeks out for a three by Jones, that's short. Rebound Sestina battling, he'll tip it to Meeks for a layup. What hustle by Nate Sestina. That's Fox, here's a long three by Funk. Bingo! Oh my almighty! Andrew Funk, pitch it underneath to Edwards. Edwards works on Sestina for a little hook shot, up no good. And Sestina is going to get the miss. And Nate Sestina has a boatload of rebounds, five already. Soto's caught in the base, towards the baseline. We'll give it up top to Sestina. He'll go strong, give a low pass to Soto's. Up top for a three by Funk. Bingo! Andrew Funk hits for his second field goal of the half. Give it back out to Sestina, fling it over to Funk. Stand still three is Bingo! That's the funk that we want to see today. Back up top to Toomer, flipping underneath to Newman, who has position on Wilson. Gets grabbed by Wilson, just throws it up. Good! And he was fouled up! The first grab didn't get it, the second one did. Here comes Funk. Black Knights lead it, 29-27. Funk runs over McKenzie. That'll be a charge. Yes, sir! 21st charge drawn this year by Kimball McKenzie. Stand against Moore, flip it to Wilson. Wilson will spin on 
Sestina give it off for a Grayson shot. No good. Great job by McKenzie to defend Grayson off a pass by Wilson. Here's a bounce pass for a long three by Sestina. Bingo! Nate Sestina finally on the board. Here is Kessler with 12 on the clock for Army up top to Wilson. We'll hand it off to Funk. Work off a screen, drive inside. The ball knocked loose by Sestina. Here's Toomer with it. He'll go one on one with a bounce pass to Sestina for a layup. And Bucknell will get the first two points of the second half. Come off a screen by Wilson. Reject it. Look to Wilson. Instead, drive in for a layup. Blocked by Moore. Sestina tips it to Bucknell. Soto's chest high pass to McKenzie. He'll go for an up and under layup, and Bucknell has scored four in a row. Cannot mention how important this game is as Bucknell. If they win, they would get a share of their eighth Patriot League title in the last nine years and could win it outright. Ten to shoot for Bucknell. Soto's with it, flipping underneath to Sestina against Wilson. He'll back him down for a hook shot. Up no good. Sestina got it back and stuck it up and good as Matt Wilson flopped that time. Penetrate, go to the baseline, pick up the ball and loop it out to Funk. He'll get in the corner, launching a three is Kessler. This time he'll miss it, air ball. And 13th rebound for Sestina. Here's McKenzie pushing it up for a right-hand shot around the rim and good. Good job by Kimball that time. Drawing contact and throwing off the glass. It's on the deck. Newman goes down. He will get it to McKenzie. And McKenzie, one on none, will go up and lay it up and good. I think he thought about dunking it. Why is that he didn't? Toomer will pull up for a 15-footer, and he'll bang it in. Avi Toomer will have his second field goal today. He has four. He will give it to Duhard for a moving three, and that is off the rim. No good. The rebound taken by Bucknell's McKenzie. Here's Funk in motion, three right side. Bingo! First three to fall this half. White right wing for a three by McKenzie. Bingo! Back-to-back -back threes by the Bison. 323 remaining. Bison down six. Bucknell trailed by 14 just a few minutes ago. Funk has it. We'll give it to McKenzie with Tommy Funk of Army on him. Back out to Andrew Funk. Long three on the way. Bingo! Oh, my almighty! Andrew Funk, you are Funkadelic! Second free throw up no good as well by Wilson. And for a third time, Bucknell will have the ball down three. And will Coach Davis call a timeout? No timeout. Here's McKenzie with the ball. Give it to Sestina. Look inside. Pump it to Moore. Moore against Funk for a hook shot up and good. Great job on the switch. And Moore pulls Bucknell within a point with 93 ticks remaining. Give it up top to Amezi with 12 on the clock. Army's Fox with it. He'll attack with a bounce pass to Wilson. His shot blocked by Sestina. And the ball is taken by Tuber. Funk gets the ball. Looks at the clock. He'll drain the clock just as he did at Army West Point with the Black Knights up a point. Bucknell won that one, 64-63 on a tumor layup. Now Funk will drive on Sestina, get caught in the baseline. He will throw it up for grabs, and it's stolen by his brother Andrew Funk. Bison down a point. Coach Davis will take a timeout with 21.8 remaining. And bounds to Sestina. Sestina will loop it over to McKenzie. McKenzie will stop, give it up top to Tumor. To Moore with 15 ticks remaining. To Funk. In between the rings to McKenzie. He'll go strong for a layup. Up no good. And they're going to call a foul on Army. Matt Wilson with 10.9 remaining will get called for the block. Very close to a block and a charge in Nate Sestina. He does it all, folks. He's coming out and he's cleaning the floor of the perspiration. And Kimball McKenzie will go to the line where he was two for two in the first half. But the Bison down a point with still 10.9 remaining in regulation. Today, six in this half, and we'll put the first free throw up and good. Tying the game. Army out of timeouts. Bucknell has one timeout. I don't expect him to use it. Kinsey to the line again. Free throw up and good. So McKenzie now has 15. Here is Army down a point. Seven ticks left. Here is Fox. Give it to Wilson. Ball knocked loose by Tuber. He'll throw it off of Army. He threw it off of Army. Oh, my goodness. 1.6 seconds left. And Bucknell up a point trying to come from the dead against the Black Knights again.
So Bucknell has to inbound the ball here and then make free throws. And even if they made two free throws, they did put two tenths of a second on the clock, 1.8 seconds. But even if they do get two free throws, here's a long pass. It's going to be caught by Moore. He'll go up and get grabbed as the time has run out on the Black Knights. And they're going to say, that's the ball game. The Bison have done it again, folks. In incredible fashion for a third straight game, Buckdale has come from double digits to defeat Army West Point. And with the win, Bucknell will at least clinch a share of its eighth Patriot League title in the last nine years as Bucknell will win this contest here 62 to 61.